Sat Year the Dealer at Microsoft Ignite 2021. Embrace the Metaverse this week. Announcing niche for Microsoft Teams, a 2D slash 3D virtual environment for team collaboration. In this video, I'll explain how Microsoft Teams works in government IT and how niche would change nothing. I work in government IT as a system administrator for a federal cybersecurity project. Since this is a Microsoft shop, we use Microsoft Teams for online meetings. During a typical work week, I attend a half dozen meetings of various sizes and use routes of video. Small meetings with a half dozen people and one person speaking on video. Medium meetings with 30 to 50 people and one or two people speaking on video. Large meetings with 300 people and no one speaking on video. Two reasons for why video isn't in use. Privacy and bandwidth. Since everyone works from home, no one wants to be on video. The background blurring effect does a good job at hiding what is behind someone. If someone moves around, the blurring effect flickers and the background is visible. Not everyone has an empty bedroom for the work from home office. I have a piece of black tape covering the webcam on my work laptop. A practice that I followed after FBI Director James Comey admitted to taping his webcam in 2016. When I do pull back the tape on the webcam, I'm trying to win a $25 gift card for wearing the t-shirt color of the month. Last month, I had to dress up for work. I'm Batman. The technical reason for not using video is a lack of bandwidth. If 300 people are using video in a meeting, teams will slow down, drop callers, and have poor audio. The simplest solution to turn off will limit the use of video. Keep in mind that government IT has many employees in many locations throughout the US. Bandwidth can vary from location to location and sometimes within the same site. Large corporations have fewer employees in fewer locations and can afford better bandwidth. If bandwidth for video is a problem, a virtual environment would demand even more bandwidth. When Mish for Microsoft Teams come out in 2022, 2D avatars will be available at first. An ideal version of yourself with a virtual background that reveals nothing personal. Using 2D avatars can present the same bandwidth problems as using video. As for a 3D virtual environment, bandwidth is not the only consideration. Each employee will need their own 3D equipment. Microsoft sells different models of the HoloLens 2 headset from $3,000 to $5,200. To put those numbers into perspective, my work laptop costs $3,000. Adding virtual gear will double the cost to $6,000 per employee. I don't see the metaverse coming to government IT anytime soon. That's it for today's show. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching.